Hey everybody, we're here in Medora, Indiana. We're gonna go over here and check out the uh, covered bridge. If I'm not mistaken, I think this was built in 1875. We'll take a look at it here in a few and find out. We'll go inside after we get a view out here. And this is the uh, East Fork White River. It's a pretty long one. Got the boat ramp down here. Yeah, this is it. We'll go inside here in a second, take a look inside. We got a pretty nice view out here. So we go inside and take a look. Let's go. All right. Walk up here, see what's going on. I hear some people in there. Yeah, pretty nice out here. They got the picnic table set up. Got some boats chilling. Got this guy just parking wherever he wants. Oh, he's selling merch. Got the merch booth. Here we go. Medora Covered Bridge, 1875. J.J. Daniels, the builder. How are you? I'm good. I'm the troll that lives under the bridge. <laughs> are you? Are you from here? Or you... No, I'm down. I live in uh, Pekin. Okay, you're not too far. No. Not far at all. They a group of, uh, well, I call them tri bikes. They were from Palmyra. And uh, we, uh, my wife from Missouri, and we've lived in Missouri. and. Uh, for eight years, we had our home here, and we had a home in Missouri. So yeah. we made that we 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 went everywhere there was to come, <laughs> and we wound up coming 64 up 135 right. at Gordon, and then that was uh, that 64 is not a busy highway. No, it's kind of boring. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And just come and get some, check it out, get some video. Okay. Well, I can tell you how they got the curb in the arches. I don't know if you heard me talking to them. No, I just time. walked okay. up. Uh, if you're interested in that, I can tell you about that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, I actually have a album down there that's a little easier to explain, but I think I can do it. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, each arch is in six sections, and each section is a single tree. They could cut the 
slab, but they couldn't cut the curve. So according to the carpenter who did the rehab, what they would do is lay the slab out on sawhorses, mark the curve out top and bottom, then saw down to that mark, probably with a cross cut or a buck saw. And then they would uh, knock that block, chip that block out, and then finish it off with a shaping tool called a foot adz. And uh, uh, they, uh, the carpenter did the same thing when he, on a couple of sections on the far end that he replaced, he just used a chainsaw. And uh, I asked him how come he didn't use an adz, and he <laughs> said they'd had chainsaws back then, they'd have used them. Yeah, too. exactly. <laughs> they, uh, there's a 96-year-old gentleman here in town who passed away a couple of years ago, but I got a chance to talk to him, and he told me that he remembered there being wooden railing all the way down the middle of the bridge, and he remembered the horses and buggies and the early cars, that it was two-way traffic separated oh, okay. by that railing. And then in the late 20s or early 30s, they uh, replaced the flooring, but they didn't put the railing back down, and he thought it was because the cars were getting too wide. Getting, yeah, getting bigger. And then from uh, then on, it was one-way traffic. But I thought that was just fascinating, yeah. thinking about the, that he'd actually seen that. And uh, uh, the uh, we, we are doing fundraisers. We've uh, put in a camera system, and we keep the grounds mowed, so don't don't pee over the side of the bridge. <laughs> okay. You know, I'll try not to. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> anyway, I have that down by my truck, down the table down there. We have shirts and uh, patches, refrigerator magnets, and an actual, the first seven boards there are original boards, and the original boards were poplar, uh, yellow poplar. And uh, when they replaced, well, during the rehab, we say old boards, new skin. Right. They, okay. Uh, they did... Uh, put the cedar-shaped shingles back on, say that 10 times, and uh, <laughs> uh, which was original to the bridge. And, uh, but the uh, truss is in place with uh, no alterations, a few repairs, but no alterations. And uh, uh, that's there, I don't know how interested you are, I can tell you how they got the piers, but the piers in the water. Okay, uh, yeah. Okay, well, that, it's my understanding that they use something called a copper dam, and it's just, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've seen those before, yeah. Okay. And Where they uh, block off the water. Yeah, yeah, and pump it out some way. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, the, we have a copy of the original contract, and it calls for nine, nine by 12 uh, beams. That and then uh, those are laid down, and then the uh, piers are built on top of those. And oh, wow. uh, they are, those are still, uh, they haven't rotted, wow. which, is, which is pretty amazing. That's pretty, it is amazing, yeah. Uh, but I, I guess if, uh, if it's underwater, something about the oxygen or something, I, I don't understand it. But I just know what people tell me. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, but, uh, All right. Yeah, we, uh, okay. Well, yeah, well, I, I appreciate that. Thanks for visiting. No problem. Mm -hmm. okay. like I said, yeah, I, pre that. I appreciate you. Uh, well, you have a good day. All right, you too. So there you go, folks. Got some information right there. Pretty nice. Look at these floors. Dang. We'll go here to the other end and see if it's got anything written on this side too that guy was full of information and then you got people like this just like this right all over the place and spray paint
but he said they got cameras now, so. Oh, there's one right over there. Hopefully they'll stop that. Vandalism. You know what I'm talking about. Sorry if there's any wind or something. It's blowing pretty good through here. I love these old bridges like this. I just like anything old pretty much.